In Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, it states this, For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. Well, we've read that for years. And yet often when change comes to our life, admit it, we don't like it. Often we fight it, or we sit down feeling just overwhelmed that we cannot make this move that we need to make. This week, I ask you to rise higher in your spirituality by saying yes to God's plan of wonderful good, overwhelming good for your life. Now, I'm not preaching at you because many times I've fought change in my own life. And yet, whether I fought it or not, I went through it, and it turned out to be the best blessing that I've ever received. So this week, rise high in your faith and give thanks for change, for without it, you could not have grown spiritually, you could not have grown intellectually, and you could have not grown physically. You welcome change because it is an integral part of God's plan of good for your life. For instance, as I just said in our Bible quote today, the seasons change. Also, children grow up, and each day the ebbs of the tides, they go in and they go out. Without change, even love would become stagnant, for love is expansive, and expansion is change. Often we pray with people for ever-expanding prosperity in their lives. Well, that's change. That's how it comes. It comes through new avenues. Well, in the middle of change, know one thing that never changes, and that is that God loves you, that God supports you, that because God loves you unconditionally, God is going to be with you every step of the way and going ahead of you. If you face seeming setbacks or surprises, do it with complete trust in God. It is the one thing you can trust in. Know that the blessing will be revealed to you in due time. Change urges you and all humankind ever higher toward a better way and a better understanding and a new and better world for us to live within.